Hey, yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to Reflections of a DJ, the road podcast presented by DJ City and Beat Source. I am one of your hosts, DJ Crooked. We have DJ Never here. Yo, what up? We got DJ D Miles. What's good? We got Jamie the Great. Yeah. And we got a special, 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 special guest. Is it like our first in real life guest? Right? Yes. yes. Since, wow, yeah. Um, Since, we're not going to count Mario. February, February of 2020. Really? It's that been bad? A year, yeah. a year it was like Mel Star was our last. Yeah, Mel Star was our Mel last. Mel Star was our last. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got our first <laughs> non real life, real life guest, <laughs> non Zoom. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, he was I, our first Zoom guest. He was. He yeah. was our first Zoom guest. And Jay Espinosa. And Jay Espinosa. We have the great, right. the infamous the Four Color Zach in the yeah. building. What's good, Zach? Yeah. Yo, what's sorry, what's sorry, what's sorry, what's sorry to let you guys down. <laughs> 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 I know you guys were expecting a really great guest. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, because we because we planned this. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There was. <laughs> I, I literally like he hit. Me, when'd you hit me up? Saturday or Sunday? I think it was Saturday. Saturday. He's like, I'm I'm coming into town. I'm coming to Vegas. <laughs> and you're and you're coming to the club. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> you don't have an option. Yeah, he's like, I, I'm doing marquee. And you're coming with. And he's like, I was like, day or night? He's like, night. I was like, okay, I could deal with night do, a little bit better yeah, than yeah, the yeah. day. Right, yeah. So he was, he did a marquee last night. And then he pulled the move on me where it's like, hey, guess what? You're doing the pop. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I was like, when are you leaving? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm actually going to. all right through you. I'm going to stay uh, <laughs> till Tuesday. I'm going to check Eric Deluxe at uh, XS. I was just, yeah. And I was like, oh, what are you doing during the, during the day <laughs> or Monday? <laughs> at 1 p.m. per se. Funny, funny. He was like, fuck, all a right. Favor I'll for do a the favor. Podcast. He was like, damn. Yeah. yeah. There's you a can't... lot of size, heavy size. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, fuck. Hand ringing. You know. uh, so yo, you did Marquee last night. Yep. Was that like kind of your first gig back? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I did a sh- one date in Chicago last week, but it was kind of a wash because it was like monsoon out there. I, and it was like Father's Day, right? Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was more just an excuse to hang out with the homie. That's yeah. good. Nice. Yeah. So, so how's which it, was probably for the best. I needed that little reentry. How's it feel like coming back to work? I'm so conflicted. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm I'm chock full of anxiety and <laughs> yeah, it's. Really. I mean. Because you've been inside, really. You've really been Hap- inside, Happily. Right? Happily inside. Happily inside. Yeah. You got and, your daughter, your yeah. wife. And yeah. we were, and we we were, and fuck, it's, it's so weird to say. I want to say are, but apparently not because I'm here. Yeah. But I would say we were very, very cautious, like mm-hmm. overly so. And I was like OD on it too. If I saw my friends out, I'd be like hitting them like, fuck you doing? Like I, yeah. I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was annoying to my friends. For yeah. sure. So I was like heavy onto that side. You of probably it. had like a really good routine set up oh. with your fam too. Oh, the, I was. It's I been was like a year. You perfected yeah. a pandemic quarantine routine, right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, uh, Cloroxing the groceries type stuff. Yeah, and yeah. And, mm-hmm. and not like not going out ever. Type and then stuff. last night he was drinking out the bottle, oh, handing shit. it around. <laughs> to people. No, no, no. <laughs> Scene. Spider tech. Crooked. Yeah, there, was a lot of, there was a lot of we homies all, out there. We only lick yeah. palms on this side. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So scene was there. Spider tech. Mike attack. Mike attack. Shout to Mike attack. Yeah. Um, yeah. La, Lemmy Vice. Oh, yeah. Shout to Lemmy Vice. Yeah. Yeah. Lemmy Vice was actually talking to me. He's from Indy. Yeah. Indiana. He was talking about Indiana. Tell me about Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. Uh, still heartbreaking to hear yeah. about that. But yeah, rest mm-hmm. in peace, Indiana Jones. Uh, Ashton Martin, Bob Santos was there. Like mm-hmm. uh, there was a lot of motherfuckers there. And you, yo, you did a great set. Thank you. It was uh, <laughs> no like we'll see what they say. No, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what. The, to suit you. <laughs> no, like you, like you did a great like Mike attack. Is you know he's the resident over there, yeah, and he's like, wow, he's like, I'm re- truly inspired tonight, like truly inspired. Must have been that little Molly I dipped in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was it was great because you you really like I, there were records that like I would say forty percent of your set were songs that I haven't heard in ten to fifteen years. <laughs> but no, no, Damn. I know that Damn. sounds You're bad. Ages, <laughs> so, over here. so tell me more about how old okay. and outdated my set was. <laughs> no, 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 not for no, nothing. It didn't mean? sound dated. But uh-huh. no, 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 no. It didn't sound dated. <laughs> it was just a good mixture of shit. I'm not. All right. I retract that. I retract <laughs> Suja, that. Suja, I retract that. so mad right now. Suja's pissed. <laughs> it's like this no, anyway, I, I retract him. that. I, it didn't sound dated, <laughs> but it was the way you mixed in these songs. And I was like, oh, man, this is a great song. Refreshing. Yeah. But, you know, when you hear those songs, you kind of, you don't expect the crowd to go crazy, crazy. Yeah. Did but they, they were going crazy, crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm sad I missed it. I'm Yo. sad you, uh, everyone missed <laughs> yeah. it. It is inspiring because you actually you <laughs> nobody know? was. Like, everyone missed it. Nobody was there, and he's yeah. playing old music. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Rave reviews <laughs> from Crooked. No, you were playing new shit too. I'm, I'm, you know, I can't lie. I heard Selena last night. I saw somebody he pose. Played, yeah. He played Selena. I was like, oh, played Selena. he played everything. Yeah. He played Panic Disco. You played Uffy. Yeah, you played Warp one point. Uh, what is it? One point nine. One point nine. Yeah, Bulletproof. I haven't heard. Oh yeah, it's you a know, good song. but you All do these something. Tired ass songs. You do no, nah, but you do something <laughs> really. Uh, you do something really smart, and it's what we were doing in EDM like maybe ten years ago. But like continuing to do it now is like you'll take the right breakdown from mm. one song, and then you'll switch the build up to another song, and you know, like you'll just keep switching and like kind of like mix matching mm-hmm. the build up. So you think one song is gonna build up to one thing, and then it ends up being like totally different. a different hit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Great. Rap DJs playing dance music. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. It was good, but uh, everyone was like thoroughly like, "Holy shit!" Like this, like we gotta like we gotta go back in our crates. We gotta step it yeah. up. You know uh, what I'm saying? Tell a friend to tell a friend. I do. Yeah. I still can <laughs> accept bookings from our key. Let's go. <laughs> and also, you Sujit. look like you look like you was having a good time. I saw the videos on um, Instagram. Mm. You was like jumping up, dancing. I was I, like, damn, you yeah. feel into if, it. If you watch, <laughs> if you watch me on Twitch, I like to. I'd like to move. Yeah. <laughs> How was it being I, in that environment for you? Was it? Like, did you have it was weird. Or? Uh, not not so much about like actually being on stage in front of people. I don't really get. Thankfully, I don't really get like anxiety of people looking at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was very immediately apparent. Like, oh, I am physically doing something not in my comfort zone. Like, this is not my house. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I stepped up in the booth, it was like, oh, cool, they got the S nine. That was nice of them. And then it was like everyone who worked at the spot, like. Damn, I haven't even seen that thing before. I don't even know how that works. It's like, <laughs> oh fuck. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm sound engineering yeah. this shit tonight. And then yeah. of course, shit wasn't working when I first hooked it up, oh, really? and I had total panic. Yeah. You know, I think oh, I man. missed like the first two minutes where they're like hard start at twelve thirty so we can yeah. do all these presentations. That's group. And yeah. I was like, of course, I got you, no problem. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, and yeah. then of course, switch over, and it's like. Not shit. <laughs> yeah. And th- thankfully, all it took was a quick restart. But but I was talking. Man. I was talking to Boff, right? And yeah. he was saying that they don't know. They never. They have to rent the S nine just for you. <laughs> That's crazy. Place old music. <laughs> and no they showed actually, up, and they got to rent the stuff. They're actually like. Uh, I feel like I don't know who does the budget, but they're like, <sighs> we have to spend money on this rental. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's and, like yo, that's like and, Zach <laughs> demands. That's his only requirement is that yeah. we have the S nine here. It was funny as I said S11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. I was going to ask. I was going to ask, do you prefer the S9 or S11? S11 but. for sure. S11 has. Yeah. So S11 sound card yes. is like the 900. That's it. That's so, yes. so the problem in Vegas, right, is the new standard in Vegas has become CDJs yeah. and the 900 Nexus mixer from Pioneer. Yes. Yeah. What should be happening is they should be updating to the S11. Right. Because that is just as good, if not better than. The 900 Nexus right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, I would argue I would argue it's better. Yeah. Yeah. But it, they're not doing it. The the fucked up thing is these big clubs that are making like 1.5 million a night. Sometimes <laughs> they don't want to update the equipment. Well, what is that? Like, why is the 900 still the standard in Vegas? I feel like it's only Vegas. Is it because I think EDM everywhere. DJs come through a lot? It's everywhere. Mm-hmm. I okay. mean, all the cities I've been to, yeah. It's, I think it's, it's affordable everywhere. right now. Yeah. No. Th- is it? Is it Isn't it still like close to lot. It's still expensive. Is it two thousand? Yeah, still? It's still close two thousand yeah. plus. Yeah. So With wait, that's eleven two thousand, right? Uh, I think it's nineteen. Nah, I think it's nineteen hundred. So it's roughly the same. You'd be spending this. It's Honestly, you yeah. know what I think it is. I'm thinking all these these uh these sound companies, right? Uh-huh. These people who like all you know uh, provide the equipment for these nightclubs, they've got like twenty five nine hundred Nexuses. Yeah. In the back, <laughs> so they can all like when motherfuckers spill drinks. Just replace they it. can continuously replace it. Yeah. They can't just buy one S11. They have to buy like six have of them. A few nice. Yeah, yeah. They got they they got to buy a few. Of okay, them. so the latest uh, 900 is 2200 and the S11 is two thousand. So it's off by two grand. It's definitely I mean, that they still have they still have the fucking they still got the nine hundred Nexuses. That's why they want to switch it out. Yeah, that yeah. is true. So what I mean. Zach was feeling comfortable, obviously, about the equipment. I was not mm-hmm. at all. It was so weird. Yeah. And first of all, I haven't been on an S9 in over a year or whatever it was, 
Something like that. Because you've been on to 11. S11. And you think, like, well, I'm a smart guy. I should be able to figure this stuff out on the fly. Man, it's there's just something about that little surprise. I forgot where all the buttons were. I didn't know. Like, everything yeah. kind of went out the window. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it physically felt like not my, it, you know, put on somebody's shoes or something. It's like, yeah, maybe we have the same shoes, but yours feels different than mine. <laughs> you know? So, it immediately, I was like, ooh, I need to take a little step are, back. Are you comfortable on CDJs? I love CDJs usually. Um, again, last night I felt a little bit like I need to like be cautious of just how much I'm expecting. I'm going to be sharp with them. So I didn't, I did a lot less like scratch dropping stuff and more just boop, Mm -hmm. you know, just to like play it safe. I, I'm always wondering about the equipment in in Vegas. I feel like they should be updating that shit right now. Well, another thing too, is I ask for HID mode. So I'm extra diva ing. Because the three thousand, the CDJ three thousands don't do HID mode yet. They oh, the will, they ones. they will be, but they don't yet. So yeah, they don't do it. Right? So you have to yeah. be like, please get me the older ones. And then number one, they're like, what, guys? <laughs> Who and the then, fuck are you? <laughs> and then number two, they're usually well used. You well, know, the three thousands are more catered to record box, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm very curious mm-hmm. about record box. He's been wanting to try record box because yeah. he had a I kind of want to. Yeah, a few mishaps at the pool, and you're like, oh, fuck yeah, this. Yeah, because I was DJing uh, at 118 degree weather. Yep. Yes. And my shit just started bugging the fuck out. Yep. Yeah. It's like, I like obviously, it was only 110 degrees this weekend, mm-hmm. but 118, 115, that shit was crazy. Like, yeah. I, I took it out of my backpack, and it was already hot. Damn. Oh. I should have, like, kept it on, like, ice for uh-huh. a little bit. And it's plugged it in yeah. before you started. So what these pools do now, like these Vegas pools, they know. So they, they get like a tray, like a like those mm-hmm. trays of ice. Mm-hmm. They put the ice in a garbage bag to make it waterproof. And then you literally put your laptop on the tray of ice. Yeah. Ooh. And then you DJ the off of that shit. Yeah. And mm-hmm. usually you're, you're all good. Yeah. But it was just so hot. Mm-hmm. It was just like, I, I should have put that MacBook on the ice like for 10, 15 minutes. Prior to that, Before yeah. I went there, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that you were on um you were on sync, right? Always. 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 <laughs> Always. <laughs> but it, that's why you can kind of like get on the mic a little bit more, you can dance a little bit more. There isn't this like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, no, the, the second part of that's the most important, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more dancing. I mean they don't <laughs> dance a lot. <laughs> they don't book me for my music. <laughs> it's a killer dance move. You got the moves. You got the you moves. Get the moves. You get the moves. <laughs> No, I'm, no, but I'm saying like it gives you like you don't have to be as like concentrated for sure about mixing the next song. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, you got to get confident with sync in its own right. Like as soon as you got it locked in, then you're it's good. just tedious to grid everything. Right. Yeah. It's got its own issues. You got to make sure everything's gridded perfectly. If you jump in and out of sync a lot, which I do. Yeah. You need to you need to have a strategy or just be like really good at being on the fly with it. Um, oh, wow. Because there's plenty of times where if you, you know, you don't plan ahead, like I got to unsync it right now or else sh- disaster. Oh. <laughs> I've, been, I've been there. Oh, really? Yeah. Or like if your grids are messed up and you don't know, I was playing shit. Actually, it was on Saturday when I was streaming. I was playing a song that I've played a million times and I forgot to turn sync off, but who cares? It was just a song playing. And I didn't realize that partway through the song, the grid was messed up for like four bars. Oh. <laughs> I just like went into chipmunk mode. Oh, like, oh, for just those four bars yeah and then it jumped back out but mm. if you did that in a club that would be a big problem yo so do you know what gridding is do you guys understand what it is i honestly don't because I've, I've never even tried to use sync all right so you know how the bar is like it goes like one two three four five and it hits right. like the one the two the three the four yeah and mm-hmm. sometimes it's off right mm-hmm. so like on the song like honestly i don't even know like commodore's brick house right oh pl- any any live band right it any live band shit, it's yeah. off it's off yeah but if you you can grid it mm-hmm. to where the snare hits and the bass hits so it's perfect right so when you're mixing it's putting the bars together the okay. grids together on any song you do yeah mm-hmm. but you have to manually put the put the the connect grids it, on you have to you have to connect it together yeah. mm-hmm. so that when you mix you can kind of just you don't have to adjust anything, yeah. right? Once it's connected, it just it it, you, in, I still in, yeah, I still babysit a little bit, yeah. You do? Especially <laughs> with like a live band thing. Oh, big time, yeah. 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 With like a with you know, with a cur- current like electronic song, no, you're pretty much yeah, good. Yeah, Once totally. you get it, you're good. Mm-hmm. But um And you could do like live transition stuff. That's too, why right? I use HID mode is because on CDJs they link 
So if you start bringing one down, the other's like, cool, I'm with you. Yeah. But on turntables, it doesn't so really So you could do your own way. transition records. Yeah. Well, I did a lot of that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard that. It was cool. And I saw the dancing around and jumping around. The dancing around. around. <laughs> Most important. And Most I was important. like, yo, this motherfucker is really free. Yeah. I want that freedom. <laughs> I don't have to worry about my mix. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go sync. You gotta do everything he does. I do, do you don't sync at all, right? I don't use it, but the, the, the few times I've used it is because of Zach. He put me on that. He's like, yo, you should try it. Zach's always been the little devil, not devil, but the little bad person. Yeah, on my the shoulder. little devil. Yeah, and he was just like, "Why the fuck?" The are you little sh-? white devil. Yeah. <laughs> I would, the little- not the first time I've been called that, and, but not about sync. So, <laughs> nah, he's always been like, "Yo, why don't you try the S9?" I was like, "Cause I love this other company that should not be mentioned. I love this other company." Like, "Yo, no, nah, forget that company, girl. Try this shit out." In a week, I want to go buy the fucking S9, and I was like, "I text." I like, feel like you should grit and shit because yeah. you don't got that much music. <laughs> no, probably yeah, like fifteen thousand. Wow. You're just dissing everybody. I'm not dissing King everybody. Of the no, underhanded like, compliment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have like fifteen thousand songs, maybe. Yeah, it's not that much. I think I have like fifty or sixty. I think I'm around like thirty, thirty k range. Like, I'm like forty, fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'm like fifty. Yeah, you probably 60. got like hundred k. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, that's that's crazy. Are you gonna uh, continue streaming? Yeah, you are. Yeah, are you, as much as you're doing you been, now, you've been keeping up the same schedule. You're like Thursdays. Thursday, so Thursdays and Saturdays, uh-huh. um, and then I started doing Tuesdays, and I did it like three times or four times maybe, and then I immediately realized, oh shit, Tuesdays doesn't really work because I'm catching up on all my other stuff, and I always have an excuse why I can't do it. Yeah, and it was very much like, well, this is the extra day, so I don't care if I miss the extra day. Um, so probably I don't know. I'll have to figure things out because like Saturday is a great night to stream, but I'll more than likely not be at home. Right. You know, um, Thursdays are pretty easy because I'm not usually out on Thursday, but there'll be a few where I won't be. So I got to figure that out. So like if you miss a, if you have to um, do a gig out of town mm-hmm. on the same day you're streaming, would you like um, do it another day? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Mm-hmm. Never. Um, you've been like kind of like th- uh, thinking to like switch over your days. Right? I have to. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. starting to work on one now. And it's yep. like I was streaming in the afternoon and I'm doing the pools in the daytime. So yeah. I'm not gonna be able to like keep up with my schedule. Mm-hmm. So, so what do you, you what do you think is the best thing to do? Just to like move move it around, even move it around or change the time. Like I was doing like one o'clock in the afternoon, so maybe I should change it early in the morning, yeah, or later at night. Zach, would you consider streaming from your live gig? Nah, I don't know. I yeah. mean, I've seen friends and do it a few times. Yeah. I don't think it's. Uh, Mm, that's tough. I mean, I like seeing that Friends and does it because uh-huh. I am interested. I want to know what's going down. I want to watch it. I don't mm-hmm. think that it's visually flattering right. to what they're like. You can't actually get the energy from the room. I'm sure the when you're there, it probably feels incredible. When you watch it on a stream, it's like it's like a security camera, you know. <laughs> so it's kind of like <laughs> you know, it's just not like you, it's not translating the the right way. Right. But I do appreciate that he does it. But on the flip side, what I want me to look like I'm on a security camera. I don't think. People probably wouldn't be quite as interested. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they would love it. I but. feel like people want the interaction, though. Yeah, that's the one. That's the well, thing. he still interacts with people. No, but you, he still really? reads the chat. Is he saying uh, he's on the mic? He's calling people. Like, thanks for the five percent at thanks the club. The I've seen it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I've, I've never seen, seen that. I've never seen that. <laughs> he's shouting people in the chat of his live stream in the real life club. Yes, that's impressive. Yes. Wow, I love it! I love it's it impressive. so much. It, it's uh, it's so cool. <laughs> Imagine the work. people. Yeah, the people at the club must be like, "What the fuck is he saying?" I don't think. Okay, no, well, I don't think so. Nah, I don't well, know. First of all, <laughs> press one if you're with me. The people <laughs> in the like, club what? don't know shit. Yeah. I, yeah. I, all the time, I make up people in the club. When I, when I have to shout something out, I'll just make up like, "Oh, uh, Johnny Paddywhacker over here." I just like make up fictional Characters. groups of people to talk to <laughs> in the club because that's what I liked about Twitch was because you can actually see you're actually seeing who you're interacting with. But in the club, I don't know who's there. What do you mean? What do you? You're pointing at somebody, and just renaming them? Or yeah, well, I, or just or like, come up with a name. I need, like, for example, if I need to do like a transition of some sort, and I need some mic work of some kind to help me get from point A to point B. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like, hey, whose birthday is it? I'm just gonna be like, fucking so and so. Make somebody up. Make up a whole crew. Make up a city they're all from. Oh, we got this place in the building. And it's like, well, I don't know if they're here or not. Who fucking cares? I just want to play some music from that city. Wow. Yeah, we got I don't, I don't know the- how I feel about that. <laughs> I know, right? It seems like he's been lied to all his life. Well, 
Just making shit up. We got New York in the building. <laughs> what, what are they gonna fact check me? Alice, Alice, uh, yo, Alice is wilding out. Happy big, birthday, San Alice. San Diego's in the building. <laughs> big John, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do a big for Chicago. Let's play some Chief Keys because so we got Chicago in here. It's like so. Wait, last night you kept saying Colin. There was a Colin. There was there. a Colin. Okay. There. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there was. I don't know if there yeah, was. There was no, but, but okay. Now picture. <laughs> now, but picture if there was no Colin. I know. That's why it's I don't the same know. thing. I was like, maybe I'm the only one that can see Colin. You were <laughs> pointing. You were pointing at somebody, and that guy was wilding. But out. I'll do that. I'll do that too, and I'm not pointing at anybody. I'll be like, this motherfucker here. Yeah. Wow. Man. <laughs> Yo, traits of being four color Zach, man. It's the Yo, I don't know anybody. Shit. <laughs> so you're ready. To, you're ready to get back to work. You're ready. Ooh. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted about all. Really? Of it. Yeah, I am. I really enjoyed lockdown quite a bit. Like oh, you if, did. If it was gonna go for another year, I wouldn't have complained. Wow. So, so you you really mm. enjoyed streaming? You like the routine? You yeah. liked it all? I like being home. I like str- I like being able to do so many more creative things mm-hmm. on the stream. Is I it- mean, being out is like punishing, and I don't know. I do enjoy playing in front of people, so yeah. that's kind of that's great. Yeah. Wow. Is it just like you're closer to your family? You're there. There's like a set routine and everything, and and then when you just go out of town, it's just. Did you feel like you you got healthier? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you got some rest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes and no. I think I. I mean, I, I work too much no matter what. If I'm at home, I'm gonna my schedule is gonna be OD anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think I drank any less. Uh, believe it or not, <laughs> um, <laughs> the streams. I mean, like I like to when I'm DJing. I like to. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> sippy, sippy. The, um, little, the little white devil gets. I don't know. Was he? Was he? I don't know. Uh, little, uh, little, uh, little, little taste. I saw like a little dick motion. Yeah. Or like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> a taste of something. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like during the day, I got other work to do, so yeah. it's just like stuff on stuff. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I hopefully got more chill time, but. I don't know. I just like being home. It's nice. It's nice yeah. not having to deal with airports and. So you were kind of people. holding back and shit, right? Like. From from accepting gigs. What's really weird is I was thinking that I was going to be the last one to come back out. I didn't want to come back out. I didn't think that anybody should go back out. Mm. And then ironically, it feels like I'm one of the first people out in a lot of my crew. Mm. You know. So and I don't like that. I I don't feel good about that. But I don't know. I have a pretty grim outlook on humanity and everything, Mm -hmm. and like the way everyone dealt with this, and the way they're going to continue to deal with it, and just like the possibility of <laughs> human survival. <laughs> I don't know. The human condition is, I'm not a, yeah. I don't have a wonderful uh, rainbows and, and puppy dogs outlook. So coming back out was kind of like, for me, it was kind of like, well, if everyone says it's over, you know, mm-hmm. like, I guess we're all fucked anyway. So, I mean, last night was <laughs> packed. It was outdoors yeah. though, which is a good thing, right? But it was, it, was hot. Hot. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot, and it was outdoors. But it was, it was packed. Sure it was hot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if that was indoors, that's a lot worse. Yes. A lot of uh, but fluids going around. I mean, the shit was packed last night. I mean, we were putting the vaccine to the test. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, and we've night, been though. doing that all week. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. I've been I've been going too hard. Yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> I've been going too hard. Was that a conversation you had to have with your wife? Like, yeah, we talked as... about it for sure. Yeah. Was and she... yeah, I mean, she's supportive. She. I mean, we. We, yeah, we talked about it from every angle, but she's been uh, she's been doing a lot of um, uh, nursing school medical stuff too. Okay. So she's like on the front line of seeing all this stuff. So it's yeah. I mean, yeah. well, they are talking. We might go back inside because that new Delta variant plus or whatever is running around like crazy, and they're saying that like um, uh, part of Australia already went back to lockdown. Yeah. Well, I'm Australia. curious. Okay, so my big question is: Do you think that America will ever go back into a lockdown? Do you, I can't. I, I don't you think see it was it. hard enough the first oh. time? Can you imagine doing it a second time? Like not not doing it. Uh, I just think that the American um, attitude is so self centered and awful that I can't imagine getting the second time out of people. Do you know what I mean? I don't see it. I don't see it. I think there's I'm a lot down. of pride involved with that. I don't think I don't think our government and our officials would would be okay with admitting that they were wrong and then having to put us back on a lockdown. That's a good point too. Yeah, I don't see it. Vegas, I mean, Vegas shit, is, man. they just opened up Resort World, yeah. and it was the biggest opening in history, or some shit like that. Yeah, Resorts World. Have you seen it? No, not yet. It's, I mean, I've seen photos or yeah. video from the opening from the outside. Yeah, but um, from the opening party, but not inside or anything. It's insane. I don't think I've ever seen so many people at like 
a hotel opening in Vegas. Uh-huh. Was it the Paris Hilton Tiesto? Yes. Bit? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But it's just really? been packed all weekend. Like Neva and I yeah. went to the food court uh, yesterday, yesterday. yesterday, and it was just packed. Yeah. And there's no, there's no staff. Like you could tell. Like at this food court, they have a, an ill ass Asian food court. Uh huh. It's like every kind of Asian food in the food court, it, but it was so fucking packed. Like they, they were running out of food. Damn. Shit. Like there was a yeah. there's a there a fried chicken spot there, and they ran out of chicken. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and they ran out of French fries. They ran out of chicken thighs and French fries. <laughs> sure, ran to food for less for that shit. Sure. It was, but it, they, you would tell like when you went up to pick up your food, they were just frantic. They were like, yeah. they didn't mm-hmm. know what to. They were just like, just uh, uh, take this. And I was like. All right, what about the fries? We don't have fries. You want a mac and cheese? And I'm like, sure, like, fuck sure, it, mac and cheese. <laughs> this motherfucker was about to have a heart attack. Well, if you ever worked in food service and like mass food service like that, yeah, it's it really is like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I can imagine. I felt bad for them, man. Damn, man. And this isn't even like the real busy weekend, like no. Fourth of oh, July. This weekend's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Coming up, is it's it busy down nuts. here for that? I'll say that one more time. Is is it busy for Fourth of July down here? You know what? It usually, it usually not kind of hit. Nice. Usually yeah. not, not really too busy but, on Fourth of July. But I feel like this year, everybody's ready to go out. So I think making I, up for lost time. So yeah, crazy, I'll say any yeah. excuse to be out in twenty twenty one, people gonna make an excuse. And you know, be but out. but there is always that that Vegas. Um, what do you call it? There's that Vegas thing where they always think July Fourth is gonna be a, a crazy weekend. And it's usually not, and it's not. Yeah. Never. They it's. Because everyone wants to stay home and barbecue, right? Yeah. It's like some barbecue yeah. home shit, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially landing on a Sunday, and then you're off on Monday because it's the holiday. The observ- observation day. Observation day. So you're- well, like never said, man, I think this year might be a little different. Yeah. Like Let's put a bet. Just- Let's put a bet. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's going to be a wash. <laughs> nah. No? I don't, I don't think no. You I think bet. everyone wants to go out of town? I think yeah. they're going to put fireworks on the strip, and that's what's going to get it popping. Like, I don't think I've ever seen. Dude, like, this past weekend. This past every- Cinco de Mayo was crazy. Like usually single de Mile yeah, is like single cool. Yeah, but single de Mile's nah, it's single de Mile's busy in Vegas. Yeah, especially it's, it's a fight busy. weekend usually. Yeah. So I don't know. I think Fourth of July this year's gonna be popping out. I here. think it is too. I think people just it's it's been a holiday weekend every weekend anyway. Seems like it, right? Oh shit, like, it has. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda has. It just feels like it. It's been fucking nuts. Yeah. It's been so, crazy. You're gonna have your first gig back in a in a, in a yeah, while. Yeah, on Sunday, on, on July fourth. So I'm a I have anxiety, but I think it's more of the uh I have not been in that kind of environment since uh, Thanksgiving weekend of last year. And it was at like oh, 25%. Wow. So this is going to be completely different. It was the first weekend when we actually went to 25% when I when I played uh, last Thanksgiving weekend. So this is the first time I've been at 100% capacity. They have a performance. So I'm expecting it to be crazy. And it's just to be in that environment again, I'm a little like, damn, man. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited also. I was at that venue he was he's going to do on Sunday. I was there uh, Saturday. It was pretty popping. It's pretty packed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was there with Justin Incredible. He was... Uh, he was headlining and it was pretty popping. Did they have a performance that night? It was no, it was him. just him. But it was packed. Yeah. It Zach, was packed. Zach, when are you back here? July 10th for Tau. July nice. 10th, Saturday? Mm hmm. For Tau. Yep. All right. So I'm definitely, taking... if you're going to be in Vegas, go check out Zach. Gotta go. On I'm, the 10th. I'm going. Uh, Zach, have you missed? Have you ever missed a flight? <laughs> <laughs> only, only one. Only one? Okay, and, good. And, and it, wasn't from, uh, it wasn't from excessive partying or anything. It was just because the. Charger fell out of the wall and my phone died and didn't wake me up. And it didn't alarm. <laughs> that was it. And, and it was in like middle of nowhere, some whatever city. So what about was, you, D? That part sucked. <laughs> D, I you missed ever a, a few. Flight? Yeah, I missed a few. Oh. You have? Yeah. <laughs> but I missed the like flight. Where, where it fucked up the gig though? <laughs> Almost. I missed a flight to Detroit of maybe like 2013 or 14. Mm-hmm. And there's not a lot of flights to Detroit mm-hmm. already. You, to get that seven layer salad? What? There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of flights <laughs> to Detroit from here? There was just the times were off. So uh. the, my flight was perfect. It would have got me in like around five in the afternoon. Any any fucking flight from the West Coast to the East Coast is shaky. Yeah. You have like yeah. a four hour window in the morning. It, and exactly. And so the flight that I, I took actually got me there like at like 1030 at night. And I went straight from the hotel to the gig. You're lucky. Yeah. Wait, did you miss the gig? Uh, I don't remember what happened. It was you so like long it? ago. Oh my god! Why Never, cr- you definitely missed. I've missed a, <laughs> no, I missed a couple Whoa. of flights. No, I have. I, I, I'll admit it, but I never missed a flight for a gig, for out of town gig. Yeah, I'll oh, say that like much. personal shit. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Actually, <laughs> why do you ask, Cricket? Yeah, well, what's up? What, what happened? happened? This uh, that reminds me though. There was one situation with Dizza, uh, as oh, you Dizza know, from Miami. From, from Miami. Yeah, yeah. Shout to Dizza. Uh, 
I miss that dude. I miss him too much yeah. too. Man. I was like, I woke up, I was walking the dog. I texted Dizza for some random reason, just because I want to say hi. And he's like, Yeah, I'll see, what time? What time do you land? I'll see you tonight. I'm like, What are you talking about? He's like, you, you, We're playing an addition tonight. And I'm, What? Yeah, bro. I, I I thought that was next week. <laughs> I hadn't booked anything. Oh shit! I just took the dog home, put him inside, grabbed my backpack, went to the airport, bought a ticket when I got to the airport, and I still made it. What? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Wait, from, from, are you serious? From Seattle to, to Miami? Mm-hmm. Holy. What time shit. was this? Like ten o'clock in the morning. I got in late. <laughs> like eleven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I I got the last possible flight I could have, and it, yeah, it was. So scary. you made the gig in time. You made it. Yeah, in time shockingly. I mean, I went straight from the airport to the club. I looked like death. Wow. But <laughs> but I made it. Yeah. All thanks to Dizza just reminding me. Jeez. Diz, That's man. fucking nuts. Are mm-hmm. you serious? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. You didn't, you didn't pack a bag, nothing. You just no. grab your. Oh. No, and then, like, and, and then, and I took. That's nasty. Uh, because I hadn't booked the. <laughs> you, go, no, but, <laughs> you was crusty that next morning, uh, bro. And I took the 6 a.m. flight right back. Oh, oh. That's good. So right after you gig, you headed back? Yeah. Yeah. That, now, are you ready for the rat race like that no, again? No, I'm not doing that. I, I mean, don't tell Sue to... just like you will do that. <laughs> you're but... on Scam Artist now. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. I, you're, a good, you're a good person. You. you know, but I'm saying, <laughs> wait, wait, listen, listen. Whoa, 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 what? Listen, listen. I, I really meant that shit. No, no, way. listen. You're a good person. Why do you guys laugh? No. No, <laughs> no, Congratulations, no. Sasha Suja, my bestie. No, Zach, you're a good person, right? <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> you should have you should have came here before you signed. Zach, you. Zach, no, 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 Zach. You're a good person, right? Oh god, okay, yeah. As a good person, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you? Why would you sign to such a deplorable <laughs> motherfucker like why Suja did, Kundu? Why did you, you sign know to the devil? Why would you sign? Yeah, why would you sign <laughs> to, to that to one of? I would say one of the top five assholes in America. Yeah. yeah. How do you answer that? Including <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. No, no, no I'm not going. I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what are we? What's the next question? What are we yeah. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you trying to get him in trouble? <laughs> I'm saying he's a good person, right? With a yeah. good heart. He's one of the best yeah. person. Has a great kid yeah. or great wife. Yes. You know, great has father. a lot of friends. I thought you were, at first, I thought you were he's, talking about Sujit. He's well respected, right? <laughs> why would you sign to the dirt bag, the biggest dirt bag of America? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, ha, uh, on that the, note, on that pod note. Is going, pod is going wait. very well. On that note, welcome to Scam Artists. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Suge Knight. Jesus Christ. Welcome to death row. You know, you know what I got from, from Zach signing to Scam Artist? This motherfucker's ready. He's ready to. For the rat race? He's, he's ready to take over. Like, you know. He's a new face. <laughs> he's, he's ready to take over the, the big room club scene. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Yeah, yeah. By the way, happy I, belated uh, Father's Day to you. Yes, sir. Oh, yep, thanks. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Why are you changing the subject? I want to I wanna oh, talk you about, see, okay, I wanna talk about the, the evil. <laughs> let's the talk about the evils. The evil in Sujin and everything. Wait, how did that happen? How did how did he uh how did, did he, he bra- approach you? Did he brainwash you? What happened? <laughs> what, what did he do? I, wait, can I can I can I guess how you, this happened? <laughs> Wager a guess. <laughs> he wanted you to do his stream. Yes. For scam artists. <laughs> Look, right? I don't know he he listen, listen. Like, you help me. You know, he's just like because you know he's running his scam artist uh, Twitch, stream. right? Stream, yeah. yeah. So Sue just like, oh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna get these DJs, mm-hmm. and he's like, yo, Zach, you know, you're killing it. I want to take some of your following and have them subscribe <laughs> to my Twitch. So he's like, Zach, will you do a set on the Scam Artist Twitch? And then probably said like, so you know, are you gonna get back to work? What are you doing? Who, you know, this guy's not- clearly been up at night thinking about this. <laughs> no, no, no. I just know how the game works. Am I am I somewhere in no. the in right? Just, no, that's not what happened. Way off. Okay, <laughs> way off. He approached right. Suji and he was like, "Let me do your stream," and then that's how it happened. I don't see that happen. I don't know. No, I don't think that. <laughs> wow. I don't <laughs> think that happened. I was trying to help you out this time, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Believe it or not, we were just. Did you guys accidentally murder somebody and then uh, you had to like, cover the body up? <laughs> <laughs> so who's being blackmailed in this situation? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, no, we were just talking a lot through quarantine. Like okay. we just hop on the phone and we just talk with nothing, really? with no plan. No, like there was no ever, there was never a plan. It was just, we were just catching up. I didn't even know they were cool. And like he that. would just check in all the time. Ah. He's very good about checking in. Yeah. yeah. And, and he would know like, oh, you got stuff on your mind. Let's, let's talk about it. Whoa, yo, whoa, yo, whoa, 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 hold on, 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 wait, 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 yo, D, did you ever get a Suja check-in? Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, Kirk, Kirk, I asked Suja, did you check in in any of your guys or any of your women that yeah. when, when the quarantine what do you mean, was happening? Oh, your women? 
or his women that are signed to him. Oh, yeah, his DJs, his DJs. Yeah. Well, his, you know. So anyway, I asked him that, and he was like, "No, you know, I just checked in. I text him from time to time." Yeah, he was having full conversations with this motherfucker. No. Well, Zach's the new bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa! So he's gonna whoa. put he's gonna put his attention on the new bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't call him the you bottom, know, the bottom bitch. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no. <laughs> he want the new. You know what I'm saying? He want the new. He want the new. Nah, new. bro. He want the new. Well, new. that's nice of Suja checking in on you and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so those those push. check-ins just turn into yeah I I just want like, I just, just turn into let's fuck let's let's let's, <laughs> let's make this happen and let's sign the scam and shit you know no uh boy I'm trying to remember how it actually all went down but with <laughs> that's a good one with the uh, that's the master manipulation no yeah. with um I mean I was obviously overthinking everything while I was while lockdown was happening yeah, and yeah. a lot of behind the scenes stuff was going on that mm-hmm. I needed to make some adjustments based on yeah. And, yeah. And it was just one of those things where uh, I thought much I want to change my approach going back. Yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to just like do the road dog thing anymore. Mm-hmm. Like not to that level because I was on. I mean, you know, when, when before everything shut down, it was heavy, heavy road stuff, and that's fun. It's great, but I, I've done it long enough. I would rather hit bigger rooms and less frequent. More important. I shouldn't say more important, but. Like, I don't know. I think I was. I just wanted to make some switches up. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. get in some new spaces, try some new things out, see how I did there, see right. how it feels, and then. Um, like yeah, bigger venues, uh, like kind of, uh, a bigger presence, right? Like, hope, you hopefully, know what I'm yeah. I guess I don't. I know. mean, like It'll you be know, interesting to see. I would see like if I was gonna think of like mega clubs in America, I think of Vegas and Miami. Yeah. Right. So th- those are definitely the markets you want to hit. You know. Mm-hmm. And I think. You know, doing Tao and Marquee in Vegas and working with Scam will definitely get doors opening, of obviously, in Miami for larger venues and stuff. So I get what you're saying where you don't want to be on the grind constantly traveling to four, like four gigs in a week at four different cities, right? Yeah, and also I was, um, like, coming back, I knew that there was going to be some, there's going to be different momentum for everybody. Right. And uh, being, like, because I was also trying to split time in, like, the bass scene, too, and doing all these you know, like electronic type shows here and there. And I just knew that coming back, I would have no momentum for that. I was going to have no wind at my back for that. And I figured like, well, why stress about that? I mean, I I can, I'll dip my toe back in when it's time, but like maybe it's time to go over here instead where I will have momentum and I will be like welcomed back a little bit more, Mm -hmm. you know? So I don't know. It, 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 I'm overthinking all of this. It smells like spaghetti in here. Yeah. <laughs> Where that come from? <laughs> um, no. Uh, I, you know, it's like you're you're uh, at home for a year, and you have to try to figure out how to like. I'm really smelling for spaghetti. Just. I'm just trying to figure out like <laughs> where the spaghetti's coming from. That's did not you, like, that's not spaghetti. That's did, blood on the floor. That's you, floor. That's what it is. <laughs> Jesus. No, anyway, no, no. That's that. There, uh, yo. Yeah, I think everybody ha- has had the same thought of like when you go back, what is there to go back to, yeah. and is it, is it going to be the same or no? And will I be welcome back wherever I want to go? And so, you know, I really enjoyed streaming because I felt like there was like a good community and good response in both directions to keep it going. And so that's why I don't want to stop doing it, but I still want to know, like, can I exist in real life too? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't even think that's a question. You know, it's your buddy. Yeah, answer it. Tell answer, him, answer, tell, answer, wow. answer it. Tell him you on. Put the, him on speaker and tell him. No, you're on. he's no. gonna yeah, love yeah, it. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. No, what he wouldn't love if I if I don't answer it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. No, put him on speaker. Hey, Suja, you're on speaker uh, in front of Crooked and all those guys. You're on on the, on the road. Like the, you're like the new fucking DJ groupie. I see Crooked and all these guys fucking like there's like nine million DJs at your set last night. Uh, oh yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. You're uh, you're you on go. the road podcast right now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not both making me money, end the road podcast. <laughs> hey, we're just trying. We're just trying to get some exposure out here. We're trying to we're trying to unsully your name with Crooked. He's out here slandering. Yo, listen, all press is good press. Keep at it, Crooked. You're doing a great job. <laughs> please, please say the baby. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna holler at you when we get done here. All right, cool. All right, later. 
Yo, you get yo D. You get a call from Super. <laughs> 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 he, he called me once. D, to check, to D make just sure. looked at his phone. And was like, yo, did, did he call me? I got a I got a happy birthday text, and uh, he checked on me to make sure my knees. Like, get back to work, motherfucker. Okay, that good D. shit. Good shit. Good shit. Did you get a call? Huh? <laughs> did you get a call? I got a text, but his texts are so fucking uh, heartless. <laughs> There's no emotion. Yo, yo. You know, yo, that's yo. what I get. Yo, 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 yo. yo, yo. good. <laughs> um, what do you call? Well, you anyway, think? good to have you on Scam. Yeah, well, man. And it was, yeah, it was congratulations. It was, it was great to hear you play for the first time. Thanks. I hope it was yeah. okay. I like, and then I went from Scam missed flights, so we don't have to talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like how you skipped it. So why, why, why don't really you bring did. up missing flights, Kirk? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be in New York right now? I am supposed <laughs> to be in New York right now. <laughs> Where's it supposed to be? He's supposed, supposed to be, to be in a Boston. Zoom. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, dominate this episode. No, no, no. Four no. color Zach is over here. <laughs> the reason why we're here is because of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Hey, it worked out. We're supposed to be doing Zoom today, but yeah, because um, you're, you're supposed to be in New York. I'm supposed to be in New York. So Friday, I did Money Baby. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was with DJ Nova, Nova. So I actually blamed DJ Nova for this. I saw him and I told him that you. Uh, you guys great DJ, great producer, makes a lot of dope edits. Yeah. So we ended up just getting towed the fuck up on Friday night. Mm -hmm. And he and the staff was just feeding us liquor. Yeah. Like, yo, you know, I haven't been drinking like crazy, crazy. No. And stuff. So <laughs> there's just a no black, one's, a, just no a one's black agreeing with, bottle behind no you. No one's agreeing with me. I haven't been drinking and shit, but anyway, I don't know what happened. I blacked out a little bit and I ended up at Rhino. I didn't go there by choice. Yeah, I saw Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. <laughs> Shout out to Reggie. <laughs> Shout out to Reggie. <laughs> ended up at Rhino and then I was there and it was like six to seven AM and my flight was nine AM. Woo. Mm -hmm. And this yo, check this. So I'm like, yo, I'm good. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> yeah. I'm packed. Yeah. I went to my crib. I showered. Yeah. <laughs> I was all packed, ready to go. Sneakers on. I sat on the couch. And I was like, I got an Uber. And it said 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to wait for this Uber. <laughs> and I sat on the couch and I fell asleep. <laughs> and I woke up and it was like 11.45. <laughs> the Uber was still waiting for you. <laughs> nah. And then it was just, I missed the flight and I had to call Sujit. And uh, uh. tell him like, yo, I... So you couldn't find another flight to... It's just fucked up. Going now. to the East Coast, it's like, especially, like, it's just it's fucked up. It's a five-hour flight. I, I, I'm five, supposed to be in Boston flight. and shit. Yeah. And then uh, Joe Maz ended up covering for me. Shout out to Joe Maz. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, like, I was I was supposed to be at this spot, uh, I guess I could say, yeah, Mariel uh, Underground in Boston. Uh, yeah, Underground. And Joe Maz texts me, uh, like, the, the early that week, like, I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> And I'm like, what the, is he spinning with me? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So he ends up having a Friday there, but he was going to hang out on Saturday. Oh. Right? So I don't know if it was like an intimidation factor. Like, yeah. yo, I'm going to be there. Better so you bring your A game. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Leave Zach, your, do you go through this or no? Leave you your mask this? at home, he said. Do, do, I go, do I go through people <laughs> threatening me to come see me play? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'll see you Saturday and stuff. But mm -hmm. it ended up working out because I couldn't make it. To the Saturday, so they gave Joe the gig. Shh. And then you know what he texts me? Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. He didn't say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he texts me, you just gave me the bag. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at Zach's face. <laughs> he just gave me the bag. <laughs> Baby paws. And I was like, yo, do your thing, Joe. Kill that shit. <laughs> Joe oh, Mass, bro. He just gave me the bag. I, I still feel like Joe has some good in him, like Darth Vader. You know, <laughs> no, just leave it alone. I still think like this one. The spaghetti in here. You making hey, spaghetti? Why don't we? Why don't we taste the spaghetti? <laughs> yeah. Forgot the spaghetti. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm waiting for that Return of the Jedi moment. <laughs> no, no, you know when Darth Vader's with Yoda <laughs> Yo, and we, uh, and Obi Wan at the end, like we, the, the we, we cleared you know? it. We cleared it. We cleared it. Yeah. We're good. We're just, let's just stay away. Let's okay. move, on, move on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me the you bag. Just, yeah, just give me the bag. Wow. <laughs> He probably thought he bullied you into getting the bag too. He's like, yeah. nah, <laughs> I intimidated this motherfucker. Nah, man. But I, that's I would funny shit. But yeah, I mean, Shut I some. felt really bad. I apologized to Mariel Underground. Now nah, you were fucking. I apologized to Joe. Yo, Suji, I thought Suji was gonna be livid. He just laughed. He's like, yo, <laughs> shit happens. Yeah, but it does. <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> right. That's why he chose yeah. him. Great, great manager, man. Did you get a, um, another date? Or no, that's, that's to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the only time I missed a flight right before this was to Norway. 
and Suji was livid. And I had to. F- this to this was Norway, bro. <laughs> like, well, I had it was like to Norway, then like to do. I think it was Norway to Dubai, yeah. and then and then Japan. It was like a weird tour. You know what's crazy? Yeah, I forgot. That's what brings scam artists. I missed bro. the flight to China. <laughs> oh my! God. I was supposed to leave on. I my, I thought my flight was on Thursday night. It was on Wednesday night, and I was booked here Wednesday night. And then I got like a boarding. Your, your plane is boarding text, <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. To China, I like, yeah, to Beijing. You didn't make it, did you? No, of course. But like the night that night, I like hit Sujit, and then he's like, "Bro, you just have to buy another flight." I like yeah, literally yeah. went and bought another flight, and I left. How much was it? Like a thousand dollars. Same thing with me to Norway. Damn, he was like, "I don't give a fuck, crooked. Get to the airport <laughs> right now. You're gonna fuck up this whole tour. Get on the fucking flight right now." Yeah. And I went over there, and there, I was like, "How much is you know?" And they said, "We have a flight," and I was like, "Cool." I was like, so how much is the difference in cost? They're like twelve hundred dollars. Damn! Like, Fuck. Yeah, I Did it. you buy the ticket? I had to. Yeah, I bought that shit right there. Had and to took do that, that flight shit. out. Took that flight out Thursday. And then that was that was. I literally said that day. I'm never, I'm never I'm missing never. a flight again. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I'm, DJ I'm trying to think what kind of, like, I'm what, what lesson am I supposed to take from this? I don't know. Not, don't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Don't go to the, fucking don't Rhino. Go to Rhino before. <laughs> but I didn't go. To Nova took me town. there. Right. You know Are you I'm blaming saying? Nova? I'm blaming Nova. I think that Nova put a gun I to would, your head. I would have never said, let's, Nova's go like, Yo, let's go to Rhino. I whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why is the gun sideways? Yo, you've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he ne- 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 Yo, never had the gun perfectly placed <laughs> and sideways. Yeah, but you didn't see the look in his eyes. <laughs> that, was, ne- that was in the past, man. That's yeah. a, that's a, that I was like back. That. I didn't like. That I was did. back on the block. I don't want to see that never again. <laughs> yeah, the Bronx came out, bro. I don't want to see that the never again. The boogie down Bronx man. never came I just out. Just had a flashback yeah. from the yeah. <laughs> from the nineties. Sorry. <laughs> Cheap money, <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, hey, I, what, what is it? I mean, you getting back into like a DJ shape? Wait, if, you, if you was like, if this was like a year and a half ago, you wouldn't have missed that flight. I'm just, mm, you know I'm just I'm, like, I'm, I'm really kind of like Zach. You missed it. I'm kind of like Zach though. I don't want to do that grind anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you were yo, because t- you realize in the pandemic, you realize how crazy we were. How we're ex- moving is like expending our bodies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we like we expanding. were expanding. Re- Expending. Expanding. Oh, expanding. Expanding. You're expanding. expanding. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're losing weight. You're losing weight. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, no, no. It's like it's expanding. <laughs> yeah. That was a great one. Expanding, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Expa- yeah. Yeah. Because you realize, like, yo, we was really running on fumes. You know what I'm saying? And we were like... It was bad, man. Yeah. I know you and I would have these talks. Oh, we're yeah, like, we would. Yo, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're running on fumes. Mm-hmm. You was doing a lot. I was doing a lot. I felt, I felt Zach was running on fumes for a long time. I think since we started this podcast, the motherfucker was just moving every fucking week. So I was, cause, was doing a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you had the brand going. You had festivals, DJ, being a father. That's it's a, a lot. lot it's dude. a lot, motherfucker. I would like some rest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to turn it off. Did you take any vacations during the uh, pandemic? No? Oh, I didn't leave the house. Oh, okay. Ever. You just love it. Like, you just, you're, you but know. But if you know Zach, I like that's, being, that's, that's what he is. He's, the the, he's the crazy body. thing is him and I are very similar in certain ways. A lot of ways. Yeah. The word, well, I'm not as talented as him. He's but, way yeah. nicer, too. But, but uh, yeah. <laughs> very nice guy. That's been proven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Expanding. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but we're really good at, like, being... Uh, like self is it self productive or just productive by ourselves? Mm. So like we could be stuck at and like in a room and just be like really productive. Yeah. And he's like a one man band kind of dude. Like he will do the behind the scenes and the front of the scenes. Yeah, because I'm not as good at uh, selling myself as he is though. He's really good at marketing. Himself. Oh, you're not you're not good at dressing up as a vampire. <laughs> Yeah, Twitch. no, no. See, I'm not good at that. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mountain? He has yeah, more you... self-respect. Is yeah. what he's saying. That's what he's. That's what he's. <laughs> you you want to create a he's tower of noodles his way behind you? Then that, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yes, yes, I have more self. <laughs> the back end. See, there it was. <laughs> no, you're really good at self-promotion. I really hate self-promotion. I really. I, I don't I think he it. likes that though. Do you like doing that? I don't know. He seems like you have a good time. He has fun. You have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, you have fun with it. Oh. I, I, I see. I come from a very like self-deprecating point of view. Yeah, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's 
just do that in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah, but I do that. You know, yeah. like if I if I'm gonna brag something, I gotta shit on myself up before I brag about yeah. it. Yeah, you know, kind of thing. Because then like your homies whatever. are gonna shit on you for doing it. Yeah, so yeah. Might as well just get out I the feel way. like that's some New York shit, though, right? It is. You can't Absolutely, get away. Yeah. You can't take yourself too seriously on mm-hmm. in New York because yeah. motherfuckers would just pull your card. <laughs> they let you know right up, yeah. straight up. <laughs> And I yeah. think that's created like a phobia in all of us. Yeah. Like he never yeah. wants to do no extra shit. No, no. Just like just yo, just, no. just, just get just, by. What needs to be done, get it done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like yo, stay in the corner. And Zach's got that West Coast, Flavor. that West Coast, that West Coast. Here it comes. Know, here it comes. Here side. comes the West Coast <laughs> <laughs> You know, everything's excessive. Oh, nah, 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 Eight nah, bar nah, intro nah, scratching. Nah, 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 nah. I'm Redrums. over that. I'm over that. I'm over that. <laughs> you know why? Because a lot of West Coast DJs, they, I don't feel like there isn't really any coastal style anymore. Not that much anymore. Everyone's kind yeah. of like been influenced by everyone, right? I agree. Yeah. I think there's more like maybe production style Ooh. versus DJ style. Like I can hear a production and be like, okay, that that dude's from the West Coast or down south or Chicago, DJing not so much. Are you are you, t- are you have you been producing? Oh shit, is that Suja? <laughs> that is Suj. No, it's Moma. Oh, <laughs> yo Mo. Yo, what's good, G? Yo, I'm recording the podcast <laughs> with Four Color Zach. What up, Moma? What up, Zach? Hi, <laughs> hi, Moma. <laughs> All right. Where is he at now? You out? He said, talk to you later. All right. Yeah. All right, peace. <laughs> <laughs> is he back in Zanzibar? He's somewhere. I saw him at a beach. Zanzibar. Oh, yeah. He was in the Hamptons, I think. Oh, okay. oh wow. Yeah. What a life, what a Mama, life Mama. Mama. I was in the lunch, Hamptons? I had lunch nice. with him. Have you, Zach, have you done Everyday People yet? No. That'd be fun. <laughs> that'd be fun. I think that'd be a great. Looks set. incredible. Yeah, yeah. He's coming to LA soon. Talk to Suj. Yeah, <laughs> get Sujit on the phone. I don't think Momo wants to talk to Sujit. <laughs> that might be something you have to work out with Momo directly. Zach. But I think, yo, I think you would have a fucking a ball doing that shit, or at least ex- experience one for the first time. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, looks. Yeah. It's insane. The legend Super. precedes itself. It's, yeah, and being having been to his other parties, it's like, yeah, yeah. he does it right. He yeah. does it real right. Are you, wait, back to production. Have you been working on it, or have you you've been caught up with streaming and everything else? No, I stopped at the beginning of quarantine because I was so busy getting the stream stuff figured out. Yeah, only and, so many hours in the day. But I see you. You've been dropping merch and shit. You've mm-hmm. been dropping new merch. Yep, that's going to continue on. Yep, good stuff. Yeah, man, it's fun. Nice. Why not? And then you, yo, you got so Zach has. This is another where where me and Zach connect. Mm-hmm. He has. Uh, do you still have? Can't stand, uh, can't blame the youth. Yeah. Can't stand the youth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was my sub. That was, that was my subconscious speaking. Can't stand, can't stand, can't stand, stand the youth. The youth. <laughs> you still have can't blame the youth, right? And alive and well. Yeah. And alive and well. Mm-hmm. I love alive. I love yeah. both of that shit. Alive and well is like to me is such an institution in uh in Seattle. And we now are in the weed game too. I saw Woo! that. Yeah. Wow. I saw that. Pretty wild. If you're in California, go pick it up. Really? Yeah. So wait, what are you selling? We is like, it a strain or is what it, is it? Is it like a grinder? What are we doing? Beats the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> it's just a hustle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's all like we partnered with people who know what they're doing. Oh, okay. I, oh, okay, I, cool. my myself, don't know enough to to speak eloquently about it. Are you still designing for both the brands too? Mm-hmm. So you're designing yeah. two of those brands. You're designing good DJing, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Good DJing is important. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So you're doing all of that and you're streaming. Mm-hmm. And you're doing real life gigs, and you're father and husband. Yes, mm-hmm. it's a lot. Damn, mm-hmm. man. good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, he's boxing, huh? huh? Just, yeah. just to move around. <laughs> just to move around. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, don't, don't, don't pull my card out out on the streets. <laughs> I'm not good with my stance yet. <laughs> Did you uh, have you tried a uh, Rock the Con's new barbecue that's taking over uh, Seattle? I didn't even know about it. No, no, he doesn't tell me anything. No, <laughs> Rock the Con. So Rock the Con started. Uh, he's barbecuing with his homie. Is he back living in Seattle? He's in Seattle. I thought he told me he left. This was he, this, he went back. This goes to show how. Yeah, yeah. It's called A and A Barbecue, mm-hmm. and they do like a pop up. Uh, like he does like a a slow slow brisket, and uh, they do like brisket tacos. Mm-hmm. I think they've been doing brisket sandwiches. They did sandwiches. They, they start off with the tacos. It looks good as fuck. I mean, yeah, if you want to check really out does. the Instagram, it's at 
A and A barbecue. A and A. A and A barbecue. And then, like yo, that. Seattle. It's right? taking over, yeah. I don't is there any barbecue spots in Seattle? I feel like there isn't. I feel like that's the only mm. legit one. Oh, there's barbecue spots. Is there? Yeah. Don't give him competition. I feel yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. only one. So, the one and only. You're supposed to say, nah, nah, nah. I, I think I it's a brand I new concept. Wait to go. <laughs> but, what is this, meat and sauce? Wow. <laughs> Actually, it looks really good. <laughs> no, I, I will 1,000% go yeah, through. Yeah, the tacos look really good. Man. Yo, uh, Zach, have you been out and about? You've really been staying in. You haven't been going like to movies or nothing. No. 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 Is the city wide open right now, or is it still under? I th- thought it was, but then somebody made a comment that it's Opening on the thirtieth or something? I'm not really oh. sure. Oh, 30th I see, of, I see plen- plen- plenty of people are out. Yeah. July thirtieth, June. I don't know. Oh, June. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I just assumed that everybody gave up on all this stuff because I live right next to a big park, and the park is always popping. Like it looks miserable to go there because there's, just, <laughs> because there's so many people out. Yeah. So, you know, just visually, it looks like everyone's just like, "Fuck it, we're going back." Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, you know, there's still like a lot of rules in place. You can't like go sit in a lot of restaurants, you know, mm-hmm. that type of stuff. But what do I care? I always <laughs> take you, out anyway. So. Are you still overly cautious and just wearing masks everywhere? I want, stuff? I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously some spots, there's a lot of like weirdness about like, for example, uh, I didn't wear a mask to my set last night, you know? Yeah. I'm not wearing one right now, which both of those things are things I never would have expected because mm-hmm. I was full on like I would have a face shield if I if I owned one. You know what I mean? Like I know people would laugh at that, but I'm cool with being overly cautious. I don't mind. It's, it's wearing a mask is not uncomfortable. Yeah, it's, I got like the mask pimples or whatever, but like, fuck, I don't care. I, I I'm I'm the same way. Yeah. I didn't really realize it till like maybe a few like maybe like a month ago here in Vegas when everything just started opening up. Yeah, and then like I just started had to do gigs, mm-hmm. and I think I had to do a gig and I had to be on the mic and I couldn't. Be on a mic with a mask on. It was just like hard to, to DJ and, and be on a mic and do that. Yeah. When I went to Chicago, it felt very awkward to be the one wearing a mask. So everyone, you were DJing in Chicago with a mask? No. No. No, but I wore it everywhere else and everyone was like, what are you doing? And yeah, right. that's that just kind of, I'm yeah. sure that has a lot to do with like who's out. I mean, people who are out don't think that that's worthwhile, whatever. Yeah. I was, uh, when the Resorts World Hotel opened. And I was visiting there. I was wearing a mask. It was so packed just because I didn't want to catch anything because I my original plan was when I had my Boston gig to go to New York to see my mother because I haven't seen my mother in like a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't want to like contract anything, even though she's been vaccinated. I didn't want to go to New York and bring her something. So even when I was going to go to Boston, I was like kind of planning to, you know, Mariel Underground is an indoor venue. Mm-hmm. I was like, it seemed pretty packed from some of the recap videos. So I was like, I might wear a mask to this shit just because when I go to New York to see my moms, I don't want to, I don't want to bring her anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just to be overly cautious. But I have been seeing like when I was at Resorts World and I bumped into motherfuckers, you know, they're just kind of like, oh, oh, like, oh, you're wearing a mask. Like, yeah, yeah. I wish we could normal. I wish we would successfully normalize mask wearing Mm -hmm. just in general forever. Not to say like everyone should wear one forever, but I wish there wasn't like a negative stigma. Like, like in like in Asia, you know. Yeah, Asia. I was gonna say it's chill. In fact, it's like almost. Uh, what's the what's the word? It's also it's more thoughtful. It's like it's like courtesy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you're wearing it not because you're afraid of me, but because you want to. You know, you don't. Maybe you you're not protect, feeling yeah. well. You're protecting the fellow people around you. Yeah, yeah. I that's think a, that I wish that there was not such a negative stigma about wearing one. That's still. A, I love that culture. Like if they're feeling under the weather, mm-hmm. or you know, they just you know they've been coughing or if they have allergies like they just wear the mask yeah. and it's just like a normal thing like a lot of even a lot of women wear masks in asia and japan yeah because they don't want to put on makeup mm-hmm. they don't want to get done up they just go out take the mask and they'll they'll just go out uh yeah. but yeah, yeah i mean i think in the u.s it's just a completely different thing i don't know what the fuck's gonna happen like honestly i talked to a couple homies in uh in la and they're even just saying like no one wants to get vaccinated in LA and Cali. That's insane, man. Wow. Like, no one wants to get vaccinated. So, like, there's actually the, the some of these events that, you know, they're they're 100% open, right? Yeah. Not so, the, uh, June yeah. 15 was opening there. Some of these events are like super spreaders. <clears throat> so, like, and, you know, it's just. Name it's names. Just Good. <laughs> Drop some champs, bro. Which <laughs> even nothing. No, no but I heard some events and some, some spots have been. Been, you know, motherfuckers yeah. have been testing positive little, little for COVID. A little hazy, a little hazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, was just, I was just in Atlanta over the weekend, and even for me, like, 
as soon as I got out of the airport, like I still had my mask on. No one was wearing masks. Even yeah. when I got to my hotel, I still had mine on. If I took an Uber, I had it on. And it's almost like I felt out of place. Well, you know what's crazy about Atlanta, right? Is that they haven't been wearing a mask for what? <laughs> like a year? Like eight yeah. months since <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I think since summer last year. Man. Yeah, since like, like same thing with summer. Florida. Like, so if you went to Florida, you had a mask. They look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because yeah. you, it's like, this is normal. <laughs> yeah. But meanwhile, I'll talk to motherfuckers in Canada. And they're like, they're still in lockdown. Yeah. yeah. Till uh, a little plus, bit after September. The border's completely and, shut down. And plus, they're still getting that money. 2000 a month, right? Shh. Are they getting money? I think it's they're more worse. than that. Now. It could be more, right? Shit. I think that was counting that dough. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, extra 2000 Canadian pockets. <laughs> Australia <laughs> yeah. the same way. Australia's still on lockdown until I 2022. Think I think it's 1400 a, uh every two weeks for... Um, for Canada, because I play Warzone with some of these. I play Warzone with a lot of Canadian motherfuckers. Oh, people are kind of sad. You took you, you've been you've been laying low in the Warzone. Yeah, it's, it's been so busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, missing flights and shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I talk to them and yeah, I don't know, man. It's got to be hard for them to see motherfuckers wilding out in America. Like, of course, they want to be here. They want to. They want to. And I was just telling them like, yo, it's gonna happen for y'all. Y'all gonna be like open, open, in like two months. Yeah. Y'all good. It, but it's it's fucking it's crazy. And that's why I think this surge of in Vegas is going to continue because you got so many other countries that are dying to come here and party. They can't. Oh, right yeah, now. man. So but I don't, I don't think that's going to happen, yo. Like don't it's think just so? like countries are shut down. Like yeah, like UK. Like you can't go to UK. Australia like, still shut shut down too. This is like you can't be traveling nowhere anytime soon, man. Like ain't no Eventually. vacations. I think it's us in Mexico. <laughs> just hoping though. Is, are you in are Florida? We, are we allowed in Mexico? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. yeah, wait, everyone was in Tulum this past year. No, nah, because yeah. there's weird shit. Like, because you've been flying, right? I, I've I've yet to really fly, like, cross-country yet. But, like, even if you go, like, out, if you fly overseas, you need a test, like, in 72 hours. Mm-hmm. But I heard you that 72-hour test has to still be valid, not when your flight departs, but when your flight lands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if that test expires mid-air. in midair, like you're yeah. you're kind of fucked. Yeah, just Ooh. roll down the window and <laughs> <laughs> give him a parachute, and you're on your way. Yeah, that's the trick of that I, shit. When I went to Hawaii, it was that way. It was, it was a 48, 48 to seventy two hour window uh, to where my flight landed to have a valid test. Wow, oh, tough. Yeah. Hawaii. I mean, yeah, I feel real, uh, <laughs> feel real bad about uh, that. <laughs> so Zach. What you got planned for the rest of the year? What's your plans, brother? Oh, survive? For the rest of the year? <laughs> yeah. And I don't know, man. What's up? Are you outside of Vegas? Do you have any other spots you're going to hit up? I have not accepted any other dates outside of Vegas. Wow. Isn't that weird? You're just exclusive to us, to Vegas yeah. right now? Is that kind of Oh, wait, that's not true. That's not true. I'm doing, I'm doing one actual Seattle show. Oh, Seattle nice. Show. Which is on the 17th. Dude, when was the last time you did a Seattle show? <sighs> Long time. Wow. Long, long time. Because I would never play. So. Uh, you're tight with the do overheads, right? Mm-hmm. Are they coming back? What, what's up with them? No word? Gotta ask them. <laughs> it's it's no like word. their lineup. You just gotta wait. <laughs> you yeah. gotta show up. It's not not for me to say. <laughs> uh, <interesting>. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> but, but, I do, but I do love them, guys. Yeah, yeah. Shouts to them, man. Shouts to them. Yeah, I'm really glad I got to see you uh, the other night, man. I mean, last night. Mm. Yeah. It was, and I'm it definitely was... gonna come to your set at, at Tao. You said on the, the, the 10th? 10th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm coming through that. Yeah, it was really, I, it was the, like, I needed that little confidence booster to finish that set and be like, okay, cool, I can do this again. What, what, what do you mean? Like, uh, well, like, yeah, being uh, indoors for so long or streaming on Twitch, you yeah. really develop, a, like, certain habits, mm. just DJ-wise. Like, I mean, the kind of music I was playing on Twitch doesn't always translate, doesn't almost ever translate to clubs. And if I'm playing that for a year... You know, sure, some of those tunes I'd play, but for the most part, I was getting pretty, like, out there, you know? Right. And so there was, I just was wondering, will, like, can I get in there and read a room? Can I, will I know what songs to play? Like, what's even big anymore? What's mm-hmm. the new shit that's actually connecting? Because it's all, you know, it's like we're just coming back, so we haven't seen anything be proven yet. So this set that you, like, normally when you DJ, right, mm-hmm. uh, pre-pandemic. Mm-hmm. Did you have a plan? Did you put a set together? Normally or last night? I'm saying normally. Normally I'll like... Free ball a little bit. What I'll do is I always try to think of what it would... what, Like I try to plan like, hey, what would be a good set for this thing? Yeah. And it's never... It never... Right. I don't know why I never just never guess right. It never happens So like way, the right? first maybe like three songs I'll play or four songs will usually be whatever I had planned just to get my bearings. And then it's always like, yeah, the rest of this is a wash. 
yeah. I'm gonna go over over here. Mm-hmm. But um, what? But what about last night? Last night I pulled a bunch of like stuff that I knew have has worked in the past, or um, I pulled a bunch of new records that I was like, all right, I need to focus on making sure I cover these. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just because they were, I've heard stories of like, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was the same situation. It was like you went in and you started playing some stuff. I thought for sure a couple of these records were going to be like anthems, and they were flat, and so I just had to. Wait, wait, name some of them. Name some of them. Um, <laughs> uh, shit, what's that one? The Shouse shit. The all I need, some love tonight, or whatever, whatever the fuck that is. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the big, the, yeah, yeah, that shit. The, I mean, obviously that's a huge love tune, tonight. but it did not like. I mixed it in a certain way that I thought, will the song have enough legs to carry it over this type of mix and make it that much better? You're right. And in the end, it was like, no, I probably should have been a little bit more straightforward with it, you know, or like same with like the Tiesto business shit. Like I know it's a big tune. Mm-hmm. And I think I had just over, I over thought like, oh, well, then if it's such a big tune, I should be able to flip it. And then it's like, no, I shouldn't have flipped it. I put it over my, like my homie's demo track instead, <laughs> you know, <laughs> shout out Johns. Um, that's a, that's that, that Tiesto, the business though. That's, that's, I, there hasn't been a big EDM song in like a few years yeah. that size. Yeah. But it's also, it's, it's kind of interesting to see how it goes along with all the other kind of house music that's working right now. Yeah. Which is not as. Uh, like OD energy is what we're all used to, you know. It's not like, but yeah, you, it's a you peak play of the aggressive night. EDM, like the way you play. You play, yeah, but I also, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I also play like chiller shit, like more, mm-hmm. more just like dance music, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just didn't, I didn't want to go in there and try to do that, and then have them go, oh, he wasn't playing like with enough energy. I was just afraid it was going to be like, yeah. great set, not enough energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's a good feeling. Like never, you were telling me that the other night you were spinning. Like you haven't really, like you've been kind of laying low mm-hmm. and and taking you know taking your time coming back and shit. Yeah. But you said you felt the same way just having that first night and being like, like oh I still got it. Like I'm I'm yeah. still oh, I can still do man. this shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. At first, yeah, I was scared. Also, at first, like first time DJing for a lot of people, mm-hmm. it's just like what's like you said before. What songs is new? What's popping? What's what works, but mm-hmm. I mean, but once you get into, once I got into it, I had, started to have a good time, and it's like basically everything we was doing like a year and a half ago, you could still do, just doing yeah. some newer newer music that came out. And, yeah, and it, it was, should be good. It was cool to see that the same, like root principles of a club are still exactly the mm-hmm. same. Exactly. You're still gonna get like the people who want to rage to something mm-hmm. in a certain style, and then you're still gonna get the little pockets of people who want to twerk on each other. Exactly, and. How you do that is almost inconsequential as long as you make it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think it's hilarious when I go on uh, Twitter and they're trying to like retire songs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, what do you mean? Like Swag Surfing has been the one. Like topic. DJ Twitter has just been trying to re- like they've just been like, I guess in the, uh, earlier they were trying to like cancel, not cancel, but just be like, all right, we don't need to like post pandemic. We don't need to hear oh. the same Afrobeat song. Right. Yeah. And they were like, we don't need to hear Swag Surfing. You know, we don't need to hear some of these other songs. And then there's like certain, I think they're like maybe younger DJs. Kind of like, yo, y'all still playing the same songs from 2019. And y'all need to switch that shit up kind of shit. There was a, I'm not going to say who or from where, but there was somebody that's well known. And he was kind of like, somebody's like, yo, well, we're going to play Swag Surfing. He's like, wow, I'm the one booking you. So I'm going to, you know, tell you what to play and what not to play. So you can't play that. Oh, no, wait, who was that? I can't say. Bleep it, bleep it. It's um, the dude from. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Saw, yeah? yeah, yeah, okay. And he was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, dog, don't put your balls in the fucking table like that. Like, come on, me. Like, well, a lot of DJs went at him, right? Yeah, a lot of people, like, yo, fam, like, let this. It was one fucking record. You know what I'm saying? Like, let that shit live. And even other people are like, yo, I don't want to hear swag surfing in a room full of full of adults. And it's like, but that shit still goes off. So why the fuck are you trying to cancel the one record that still works? Uh, I, I'm like a, I'm, I can be like a real stubborn. I'm not a music snob, but like I can be really stubborn and just be like, yo, I'm not playing pop that. I'm not going to play All I Do Is Win. I'm not going to play Mobamba. Mm-hmm. And then I go out and those work, records still work. And I'm like, 
damn, I'm being an idiot. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, if it works, why are you going to fight it? You and I'll be like, fuck it, I'll, I'll bring those well, like back. Like you said, that might just be a young, a younger generation thing because they're so used to disposable music. In their mind, no, they're like, all 2019 the wind, is all so old. All of those wind still fucking goes. Yeah, of course. No matter what. Mo, Zach, Mo Bamba is still quiet huge. about this. Mo Bamba. You, have any, you have any opinion on this? He's, I'm, I don't <laughs> care about people's opinions of what music should still be played or not. If I yeah, feel yeah. like playing a song, I'm going to play it. Yeah. That's smart. I just, I get so sick. I feel like I hate myself when I play, like, pop that. And I hate myself when I play All I Do yeah, Is Win. man. You know what I'm saying? Well, those are that. big songs, though, man. And it still works. I just hate myself when I do that shit, man. <laughs> I just <laughs> I'm not going front. I, two weeks ago, I went to uh, EBC at uh, uh, Excess at night when Five and Lux were there. Yeah, and they played they played pop that late, like maybe like two, two thirty. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was walking to the bar and like I just had a moment where I just looked at this group of girls and they were going crazy for pop that, and mm-hmm. I was like, damn, like eleven years later, or t- ten years later almost, this shit is still hidden like this, and it was a group of young women. So it just it just reconditioned Yo, here's, my way. Here's, of here's the, here's the on, funny here. thing. Here's the funny thing, though, and we can't lie about this. Pre-pandemic, right before the pandemic, those songs were played out as fuck. Not swag surfing. Swag surfing. Was Not big. swag surfing. Yeah. But all I do is win. Pop yeah. Mu Bamba was definitely played out as no, fuck. No, Mu Bamba was out by that point. Yeah, <laughs> it was gone. You know what I'm saying? And then, but the kids still love it. Now. It came back. Somehow. And pop that was kind of played out to the point where you would play that and be like, damn, you really on some old shit. You playing pop that right now. <laughs> One record that I... That but I, all of a sudden, right? Yeah. After the pandemic, we're it's like, yo, what? I, yo, all I do is win, yo. Play like, that shit popping right now. My hands will still go up. But don't fucking lie to me and say pre-pandemic, those songs weren't played the uh, fuck out. Mo Bamba, yeah, it's definitely out. So yeah. are you are you saying that uh, that COVID it, it was created by the music industry to to get those sales back up for this French like, Montana for yeah. French Montana because <laughs> the new one does not work. So yeah. I I look at it like uh, when people start telling me like what songs aren't don't work or whatever. Yeah, uh, like for me it doesn't matter about one song. It's about the whole set. It's like a it's like a perfume. You got to have like a little element of stink in there to make the make the whole perfume smell right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do they have? Like, they put all sorts of fucked up shit in perfume, right? Yeah. yeah. To, like, make it a nice, complete package, right? Well, you know... I want to mess with people, and not necessarily with, like, a played out song or whatever, like, just songs. I definitely had a guy doing this to me last night Mm -hmm. when when I was... Belting out Olivia Rodrigo and singing louder yeah. than everybody, just like I fuck with that song. Hey, this is a yeah. this is a just one little particle of shit in in the perfume, and you're gonna love it. But well, yeah. you're, you're known to do that. <laughs> yeah, I I probably said this before, but there was a DJ back in New York, probably like almost 20 years ago, who told me uh, who told me probably the greatest advice ever. He's like, if you're not pissing off like a portion of the room. You're not doing your job, and uh, Fair enough. and it kind of made sense a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, and I think it was like uh, I would think I was hanging out with Sean Perry, Just and he Sean. was clowning on me because I was playing like uh, Footloose or something, right? Uh-huh. And then he was like, "Yo, why the fuck would you play Footloose?" Oh, I forgot about that song. Yeah, but it was like the room was wilding the fuck out, and this DJ, he's an OG DJ, he's a great, very talented DJ, Baby Blue. And he's like, oh, wow, man. Remember Baby Blue? Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> you know that motherfucker. I forgot about that dude. Yeah. So Baby Blue, Blue, if, <laughs> Baby Blue Sick ass name, was this white dude who used to wear a kimono when he DJed. <laughs> and he used to wear like, what is the, the Japanese wood clock shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the sand, yeah. yeah, he used to wear that when he DJed. Wow. Like, those are not comfortable So I remember he told Sean, he's like, he's like, shut the fuck up. If you're not pissing somebody off in the, in the club, you're not doing your fucking job, Sean. He said that or something. <laughs> you know, Sean's like, whatever. You know, like, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I always remember that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But are, do I really need to? In, in that, I mean, Footloose is very different to me than yes, then pop that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so all I do is win. Actually, I was tired of uh, Meek Mill, the intro song, Dreams and Nightmare. And then I oh, heard it on Saturday. Such a, such a monster. That's another though. song that yeah. made a comeback. Well, that's never really left. No, it, it was left. like a time. It was like people was tired of hearing. I was tired of it till Saturday. But now that it shit came is on. like came back because it's so, so inspirational. People like love that 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 moment is it that really? build up. I mean, <laughs> it's not the most inspirational it's like we, shit it's in the like, world. But yeah, it, it's like we survived for something. Black you know people, I mean? not Mexicans. No, <laughs> there. <laughs> Y'all went to a wedding and like the couple. You know how the couple does the the ceremony. They after played the wedding? that shit at a wedding. They came out to dreams and nightmares. Oh my god. 
<laughs> she's definitely she's definitely uh, holding the gun. Yo, from, she's definitely from uh, Street crazy. Chasers. Yeah. She's That's definitely different. From Street Chasers. Were you DJ that wedding? No, nah, I was a t- I was an attendee. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so how come T Grizzly isn't coming back then with First Day Out? One of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> and it would have been. And it, and it, <laughs> title is so appropriate. True. First Day Out. Oh. True. Well, Mask Off has a resurgence. I, I didn't. I, People I, were like, while I, was, I heard when Future performed at Dre's, when he did Matt, that was his final song of the night. He was like, yo, since we in the moment, fuck it. And then he just dropped Mask Off. Fucking Future. Yeah, because it was that weekend that everything opened back up. I think he was oh, a yeah, yeah, big yeah, Republican yeah. energy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait! I'm still booking out the, the dreams and nightmares at the wedding. wedding that they came yeah. out to. That that's crazy. Kind of ill. Gran- yeah. Grandma White was like, like right. "Hold up, like, wait a minute!" <laughs> I thought I was finished. <laughs> Dude, with the pain. <laughs> that was funny. My, I was with my entire family. My grandmother and my aunt was like, "Yo, what is this? Like, what is going on?" And I had to explain to them like why this song is big and why yeah. they why they came out. Why the bride and groom came out to this song. They were so confused. <laughs> this like, it, <laughs> like my eighty year old grandmother's like, "What is this?" <laughs> Uh, Dreams and Nightmares is like the the newer version of like a Otis Redding Try a Little Tenderness, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Because <laughs> Try a Little Tenderness has that like really soft beginning, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it's it crazy, cool. right? It picks up, yeah. That's like the that's like the <laughs> that's like the oldies <laughs> Dreams and Nightmares for like grandmas and shit. Yeah, man. Jesus Christ, Try a Little Tenderness. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right. like this. Uh, Zach, is there anything else you want to plug? Anything you want to, th- you know, Switch. nothing. Tell everyone how good I, I did at market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Playing old music. You no, did, no, nah, no. You did great, man. Chill. It was, you know what? It was, it was great to see you, and it was great to hear you. And honestly, like I've been going out in Vegas, mm-hmm. and like I'm not even fucking around. Every DJ in that room was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm very inspired tonight." Whoa. Yeah. Damn, huh? yeah. I got my mic voice back, I tell you that. Yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't I haven't so I used to have a problem and apparently I still do. As soon as you put me in a club, my, my mic voice goes like I have no capacity of talking in a normal tone. It's just full on screaming. Yeah, that's I'm everybody. Screaming that's at everybody you. though, yeah. Well, I, being on Twitch, I can talk in normal tones. I mean, yeah. But you don't you don't I have twelve hundred people in front of you. you well, know? I thought that I thought that maybe it would translate over. I was wondering, like, it, are my are my Twitch sensibilities going to come to the club with me? No, no, I'm still going to scream at you. <laughs> <laughs> totally different world. There's man. like a distortion <laughs> pedal on my throat that I put on when I when I get on the mic. It's crazy. We all do that shit. Never's a different. Sounds different. I think I sound different. You I think sound, D, you sound the same. Yeah, I think my voice yeah. kind of like carries the same. And it's just like. How's every how's y'all sexy people doing out there? <laughs> hey, welcome to show, 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 show you right. Show you right. This right. shit goes like half an octave up. Yeah. You know what you do. <laughs> How y'all sexy people doing out there? <laughs> <laughs> I think that we all do that, right? Our voices go up an octave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, what up? <laughs> welcome back to the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like Marquis Las Vegas, how you feeling? You're like Marquis Las Vegas, how you feeling out there? <laughs> 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 Yo, anyway, Zach, thank, I know this is last minute, but thank you for coming through. Thank you, brother. But of course. Yeah. But of course. It was a you perfect gotta, timing. And yeah, and I love that you're a first guest back. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's good. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you, brother. Good to be seen. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right, man. We'll see y'all next week. Yes, sir. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace. If you want to watch more episodes from Road Podcast, click either links on the left or the right. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and get updated on new uploads throughout the week. Peace.